welcome back to my vlog channel. As I mentioned before, I will be doing some sit down videos and I thought I'd be a really, really cool one. First, first I have a small little disclaimer. If you ha didn't, t if you weren't able to tell, it's okay, I forgive you. But you guys are on a tripod. I got my very first tripod, well, m basically my very first tripod ever. It's so, so awesome. I can't wait to film really cool videos. I can finally film like actual things like without holding them. It's gonna be super awesome. I really can't wait to not have shaky footage all the time. Yay! Okay, so as you can probably tell from the title above or below, I think it's below, um, this is a middle school advice. I've never done middle school advice before, however, I do feel that I am qualified considering I did three years of middle school and I did them like three years ago. So, I kind of know what's going on in uh, middle school. I uh, have met multiple, I have, throughout my high school career, I have met many, many new friends and many new people and they have all gone to different middle schools so I think my middle school experience um, is not is not um, only for me I know experiences from other people so I know I'm sorry Max wants to say hi what else is new mm -hmm. mm, I love you tiny um, so yeah and again I have never done middle school experience before I have done high school freshman experience on my main channel again never advice has ever been done on this channel this is like a landmark thing if you guys like this video um, please give me like a thumbs up and make sure that you ask for more advice I'm sure I'll do like a high school advice video on this channel and on my other channel and I think we should get started so I have a little list right over here just in case I like mess up you know me um one thing I really wanted to say about middle school is that choose your friends rather carefully. Somehow it ends up being that the kind, not the actual friends in particular, um, you, it's not like you always stay friends with the same people, it usually never works out that way, but um, it is basically in middle school the kind of people that you hang out with will eventually be the kind of people that you hang out with in high school, and high school is a longer time period. Remember, these are seven years total. It's a very large portion of your life. It's basically half your life by the time you start high school. So, yeah. Um, what I'm saying is, you hang out with the smart kids in middle school, you're probably gonna end up hanging out with the smart kids in high school. You hang out with the drug dealers and partiers in middle school, most likely you're gonna end up with them in high school. Um, again, not the exact people, but somehow your name gets around of who you are and you know I went to a like I think a rather large middle school you know from what I've heard I, I had like 400 kids in my class in my grade um, in my middle school so I feel like word does it gets around guys who you kind of are also do not feel bad or really sad. I know that some people were really really sad when they found out like their best friend or their very close, close friends were going to different middle schools. Um, you know, most middle schools go by where you're zoned, like where your house is versus where the school is. That's what most kind of happens despite, I mean, like that depends if you're going to go to a private one or a lottery school or I don't know how charter schools work. or. Um, uh, like a Catholic school type thing. Those I know those are different. I don't know. Don't hit me. I don't, I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah. So what I wanted to say about that is I have many friends who have made friends in elementary school and are still very very close friends, if not best friends, with them in high school, despite the fact that they didn't go to the same middle school, and they are don't still don't go to the same high school, like I really do know that, and um, by the way, I am going to be a senior in high school, so these have been like long friendships, like almost basically lifelong friendships, and that didn't, it didn't matter what school they went to, they didn't live so close to each other, their parents weren't super close, it just, you make things work. And I just want to let you guys know that just because you don't go to middle school with your best friends doesn't mean you're not gonna become best friends with them, or stay best friends with them. And another important thing is, remember that it's not terrible to make new friends. Making new friends does not mean leaving your old friends, it just means expanding upon your friend group. I know that when I entered high school, I made so many new friends, but that didn't mean I'm still not friends with the friends that I am worse friends with in middle school. I'm still friends with them. 
like really really close friends with them and the friends that I made in middle school did not hinder me from being friends with the friends that I made in elementary school um, so just remember that and ways to make new friends is I have a little little thing going on okay small is small is having fun is that um, I think that you should just be nice to everyone um, it doesn't matter just because someone's more popular or cooler or you think they're prettier than you doesn't mean that you can't be friends with them and not be all that stuff and doesn't mean that you just can't be nice to them because you think maybe they're mean or something like that or and, and just because you think maybe someone's nerdier than you or like not as pretty as you or does, didn't have as many boyfriends as you did doesn't mean that you can't be friends with them you know chances are you <laughs> I don't know where I was going there. <laughs> so I think you should really just make it a point to be nice to everyone. I, it doesn't matter if they're new and you don't and you just want to pick on the new kid or anything like that. I think it's important to be nice to everyone. Another thing that you can do is join a lot of clubs or sports. I know middle school doesn't have as many sports and clubs as high school does, of course. And of course it depends on what middle school you go to and how many, you know, how much money they get in for how many sports they have or whatever. But I guarantee you there's at least something there that you can find that you like. And again, don't join something just because you don't like it. Don't join girls basketball because you want to make new friends don't do that that makes no sense you want to have fun um, so pick something that you maybe will like and maybe you'll really like it and continue that same sport on to high school like I know uh, I have a good friend of mine who did track like her whole life and in high school she's like a one track like she wins all of the track like she is track queen, track star, whatever track is, and I believe that she started in elementary school, continued in middle school, and is still doing it in high school. So remember that where you place yourself may not always be where you'll be, but it can very much like inspire you to do things that happen like four years later. So I'm just saying. As I was saying, sports and clubs make you a well-rounded well -rounded individual, which will make high schools maybe like you more, and you might get into specialized high school, which is super cool. And now I'm going a little bit into high school, so maybe you're not a 5th grader or a 4th grader watching this, but maybe you're a 6th or 7th grader and wondering how your middle school, like, you just want to make it right. You want to do middle school right, so you can do high school right. It all follows this grand scheme of life, I tell you. I want to let you know that a permanent record. Does anyone know what it is? Is it an actual record? Like, is it like a record, like an album that you like play on, like, to hear music? Is it a folder that just no one ever sees? Is it on a computer? No one knows. No one will ever know what a permanent record is. I still don't. One thing that I have come to learn about permanent records is that going from middle school to high school, they don't always matter. Now this is not me telling you to get into a bunch of fights and gangs and all that kind of stuff. Like, please don't do that. But I'm saying if you mess up once or twice, don't think it's the end of the world. Please do not think it's the end of the world. Because I know this one kid, this little, he was not a good kid. But he was smart and he, I know that he got into a couple of fights that he was brought into the dean that he was brought into the dean's office a couple of times, yet he got into a specialized high school for smart people, for good people who always did the right thing, straight A's, all that stuff. And um, that's where he is right now, and he's killing it. He's killing it right now. And also, I know people similar to that that are... Okay, most middle schools have honors and element, like regular classes, and then, you know, special needs classes, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Do not feel bad if you are not in an honors class. I was not in an honors class in sixth grade, and then they put me one, put me in an honors class in seventh and eighth grade. And while that did make me feel like super special, super smart, like oh I'm better than everyone, uh, you're not. Like you need to calm down, Audrey. Like past Audrey, get off your high horse, please. Because I know people who were in my regular, like normal. Um, classes in middle school that are taking the same classes as I am now in high school five years later but are doing better than me in them getting better yeah getting better averages their transcripts and GPAs are like hella good so I just want to let you guys know that don't bank everything on one test 
that is like the worst thing you can do. Like that's, don't do that. The last thing that I just wanted to talk about is the popular crowd. I kind of mentioned this before in the whole like, oh join clubs, like ah, blah blah. But um, remember that the popular crowd, um, maybe they're not always the crowd that you want to be around. I know I was never in the popular crowd, it's okay. I make YouTube videos, I won, right? No, I just, I mean, remember that y you're popular in your own way. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that any better. But remember that the popular crowd are not always going to be popular. The popular kids are the ones that peaked. They peaked in middle school. They're done. And don't worry, just because this girl is better than you and has better, more boyfriends than you, it doesn't matter. I swear it doesn't, because you're going to get all the boyfriends in high school. Not that I have any boyfriends, or have had any, but I think you're probably better than me. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you in some way. I wish I could have shown my middle school self this. Um, yup, that's it. I took a drive in the middle of the night The first time I've done that without you By my side